Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and today we are back at lessons and preparing for our show, which is a week from Sunday. It looks like our heat wave ended, you guys. It is so much cooler this morning. Everything is cooler. I actually have goosebumps with a t-shirt on. Hi, Penny. Sophie, did you see this? We bought this for the horses at a yard sale. And I don't think Sophie's seen it yet. I was there when you bought it. Oh, she was there. Anyways. Okay, I'm gonna go set it up. Just wait. No, we're gonna we're gonna set it up in the outdoor. Well, you there's no way to hang it in the outdoor. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it, but it's pretty long. It's pretty long, yeah. So it's like I'm somebody made it for their kid's bed to be like a princess bed. But we're gonna use it to like get our horses to walk through it. Although you say that you are, you're gonna get our horses walk through it. It's embarrassing. I don't know, oh. Just like a lot. Why? Because they're like, oh, cool. What? They're like they don't care. Do you guys care that we're gonna use this to? No, like the people at the yard sale. Oh, I said it to the people at the yard sale. They're like, yeah, my wife made it for their daughter. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna use it for our horses. <laughs> okay, you go set it up in the so, anyways, but Sophie, it has to be really high. That's the problem. I think we have to hang it. Because I don't want them to step on it. I don't want them to yeah, like... Get me a lead rope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where any lead ropes are. But you guys, this week, like I told you guys, we're going to have a big fire this weekend. So I want to like get the barn all situated. I want this to just have halters on it and look beautiful. And I want everything to just be clean and fresh. You guys know. Well, hello, Gabby. Sophie needs your help. To you know? climb up there. <laughs> what? I didn't know that I'm scared of heights. She gives me, take my phone. <laughs> yeah, you cannot go up there. My nephew climbed up there before, yeah. But no, not happening. No, you're not doing it. I'm too scared. Nope. Sophie, you need to throw hay first. I need to stand It has to be, well, we could tie it. What? So Sophie, Gabby says she'll do it. She'll be shaking, but she'll do it. Uh-oh, Molly, we don't want it dirty. <laughs> what the heck? So uh, we took the dogs lure chasing last night, yesterday, and it was so fun. If you didn't see that video, you should see it. It was funny to see like our dogs' personalities with other dogs and, and doing like a sport. Molly, like, my friend is like, oh, my border collie, who's a year younger than Molly, is so driven, and I'm like, mm. I think Molly's, like, so driven. Her dog is a show dog, and she's from, like, a herding line. She's actually, like, from a herding line. She's, like, first-generation herding stock. So, Molly did prove to be very assertive out there. Some of you guys are saying like you were really impressed with Daisy's efforts because she's deaf. Like it actually goes to show you how like deaf animals and deaf people can adapt so much. Like just because you're lacking in one area doesn't mean that all your other senses can't take over. Like people were saying that she could, she was only tracking it with her vision and it was amazing. So that was super amazing. We loved it. Like we're gonna try and figure it out. I'm gonna make Sam, actually Sam's already working on it. I'm gonna try and set up a whole lure course here too. It'll be really fun. So I don't know what's happening here. My fear, you thought you were going up there? Yeah, no, no, no you're not. <laughs> nope. I don't care. Riding horses is enough of a risk. Climbing beams is, no, you're not doing it. Anyways, got, Sophie's gonna rig it up and try and figure out a way to make something more fun for the horses. Eventually, I wanna put it all outside. We're still working on it. We also got another barrel, so now we have three barrels. I think what we should do is take off that weird part right here and save it for another thing, because this is shorter, and just string this across and make it short enough that it doesn't, here. Let's get a wire clipper and clip this thing and we'll put it all the way across. Kind of a waste of pretty material, but it will be fun. Our horses will love it. You guys know they're so into like fun things. So 
Now we have it like this. But that is really scary. Let's see. Gabby's gonna, you were gonna have to like. <laughs> oh my god. I actually had this weird feeling Gabby's gonna break her arm. No, it moves. Yeah, don't step on that. Um, I just think we need to like. Hmm. <laughs> this is stable. That is not that stable. Oh yeah, it's this moving. Okay, don't, don't, don't. Okay. Sophia, you need to throw this over the pit. Oh, that's such a good idea. It's so it's shorter. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave it to Gabby. She's gonna do I it. Have a, I'm idea. not about to fall off. Mom, I have an idea. What is the idea? Let me do my idea, Gabby. Well, wait, let's see Gabby's idea. We've all had a turn to have an idea. No, we haven't. Well, you had the idea out there with the, with the... Yeah, but that didn't work, so I was having a <laughs> Well, wait. Whoa. <laughs> I almost knocked Gabby down. All right. All right. Gabby, she pushed me. All right. That's not bad, and it's super windy. You know what? At least it's something. Can I try my idea? What do you want to do? Talk it out first. Oh, I do. Well, it's shorter. Yeah, it looks I good. No, I like it better like this down. Because look, it's not too long. And then we'll take this side. This is not gonna end well. This is too early in the morning for this. What the heck? What are you doing? Oh my god. Um, yeah, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Get the ball. Get the ball. The other day, I'm like, earlier, I'm like, don't use that ball. Don't use that ball. Now I'm like, get the ball. But yeah, like, it's a bit scary. Okay, we're balancing with my left leg. This is gonna be danger. Get. All right, here. You missed like two strands. All right. Oh man, all this just to like make our horses. Yeah, that's not good. They're just gonna step on it. I don't I don't think this is a good idea. It's the straight. I mean eventually this is gonna be outside blowing in the wind and they're gonna It's like a baby shower, you guys. We're having a baby shower. Are you ready? Just let Willow first and we'll see what she does. Good girl. Come on, good girl. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, yes, yeah, you didn't even have to duck. Yeah, take off your halter, little mini. We almost had two more of you yesterday. Here comes little Miss Brave Girl. Let's see how brave she is. Come over. Huh. She's pretty darn brave. Good girl. Come on, Gracie. <laughs> Not that brave. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, yeah, good girl. We should have carrots here. Because honestly, that was so good. I don't know if we should do it with Penny. Penny's just gonna run out. They're all looking though. They're like, hurry up and leave, you guys. Like even, they. anytime we put new things in here. Oh God. Molly. Is she pooping on you? They, they literally aren't freaking out. They're just like, hmm, that looks too scary for me. Oh yeah, we left the tack room door open. Come on. Molly. Good girl, yeah. Such a good girl, you guys are so good. Good girl, yeah. Oh, such a good girl. <laughs> She's excited. Yeah, just leave it up because they'll, while we clean, just, just while we do chores, because they will love to look at it. Like, Penny loves to. Let me just take off your halter. Let me take off your halter. Hold on. There you go. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl, Pen. You did it. Yeah. She's excited though. See, if I have treats, she'll be. But I just have them. The other two are like, peace out. And Gracie's like, I will see what you've done. Yeah, good girl. That's so good. They are so good. 
They are like such superstars. I'm sure we did that totally different than a lot of you guys would do it. Our horses are used to that kind of stuff. They're used to us bringing stuff, putting stuff, tarps and balls and hula hoops and, oh, I should bring the hula hoop down. But they're used to all that stuff. They think it's normal, you, except for Penny. The other two were not very even alarmed. And all Penny did was rush a little bit through it. But I thought they did really well. So here's the other barrel that we got. I actually want to paint them. You know how like real barrel racing barrels are really cute and have different colors like red, white, and blue or whatever. And they have this nice mark here so you could just paint them. I really want to do that. But you can see that we are still not finished with our painting of our poles. Get ready for the grand finale, you guys. like the coolest sportiest dog that we've ever had well we actually had like we had a border collie cross we had a collie oh, cross did. before and she did agility and she did fly ball she did fly ball for years she did agility yeah and she also we gave her a soccer ball and she used to play soccer all the time i told you guys this story so many times but i only found out Kimo's full name when i was 14. yeah what was her name Kimo Sabi or something. Yeah, we let dad name, we let Sam Kimo. name her, and her name was like, Kimo, Kimo Sabi. And not everybody appreciates the name because we just called her Kimo. Anyways, um, so we gave her a soccer ball and she'd play outside in the backyard soccer all by herself for hours and hours and hours. We'd just be out there and she'd be pushing this ball everywhere. She's a lot like Penny. And the only bad part about her, because she was an excellent dog just like Molly, the only hard part about her was that when she pushed the ball, she would screech at the top of her lungs. Like, she would have this screeching sound and it would be for hours and it was not fun. Stop sitting down on the job, girls. Let's go. We are washing all of our water buckets up at the house today. We wash them down at the barn. But I like to use, like, soap and water and really scrub them. Every week. And at the barn, we just use, like, a scrub brush water and a scrub brush but we're taking them up to the house gabby's like i'll just spray them down what are you doing i need a hose now we have to take this thing down because i don't want to leave it here because they'll get brave and you guys know penny will come back and it'll be torn Can to I shreds down? yeah i don't want them to hurt themselves on it okay, hold my phone <laughs> hold my phone <laughs> that always makes me laugh no it's not i grew up in the generation where people would say hold my beer when they're gonna fight and then, not that I saw that very much, but I saw it on TV. But, Gabby, I love when Gabby says, hold my phone. Oh, we did a good job. I. Well, these are in face down. Got beads in it. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know, I'm still debating. Should we set up the arena as an obstacle? Or the outdoor arena? The indoor arena, you could like, it'd be easier and it would be more fun and it would be less sunny and awful, but less sunny and awful. we'd have to take it down between each time because the horses use the arena and play in there. Thank but you, thank you. Set this up to go through. The ball. Thank you, thank you. On Mother's Day, I tried to get this area of our yard all cleaned up. It did not work, but I did get so sore from all the work that we did do that day. But what we did do was find a nest of killdeer eggs and we left it and stayed away from the area. And Sophie says the eggs hatch, so let's look. All right, so. Oh my goodness, look! New life always makes me so excited. How many eggs are there for, right? Five? Five. Look at how cute they are! Oh my gosh, they are so adorable. Such a good mama. Look how quiet and calm they are. They are absolutely adorable. I love being able to see nature. It always like makes my heart feel so good. Anyway, we have school to do now. Oh, so many chores. I already did the chicken chores this morning. Yeah, all clean. Girls will do school. Well, and, we always have to do a couple chores before school. And then uh, we uh, will meet you guys, meet up with you guys again when we hit the boys' barn. So this happened. We got to the barn. It was pouring rain. It is raining, and we are going to be having an indoor lesson. I assume, unless Brandon's going to be wanting us to ride in the rain. 
but we're here an hour early before our lessons because that's how long it takes us to get all tacked up and cleaned up and freshened up. And she soaked. <laughs> and he soaked. It's noisy in here and there's horses in here that had their teeth done this morning from the vet. Poor Gabby. I used to be that kind of mom that would be like, oh, my poor children walking in the rain. I will support you, I'll go with you. I always believe, don't ask somebody to do something that you wouldn't do yourself. Oh, sorry. Hi, Chancy Pants. Here we go. We couldn't catch him in the field. He was all alone. He's all he alone? He's been the one brought in, because he did not like the rain. He was alone, he was freaking out. It's as noisy inside as it is outside. Here comes Gabby. This is gonna be a weird day. And Gabby's riding Grayfin and she hasn't ridden him for a couple of days. And that makes me nervous. Oh, look at my, look at her boy. He's getting chubbier. Do you guys see it? Yeah, a big difference. Like sometimes they come and I'm like, wow, he's definitely gained weight. And then I'll come again and I'm like, oh, he's still really thin. I mean, he is still thin. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what we're gonna do today. It's really noisy in there. Don't worry, big guy. We got you covered. We got friends. Lots of friends in the barn. <laughs> Listen, you all should be grateful you're inside. That's not your friend. I gotta go find Sophie a lunging rope, which is not gonna happen if I have to go outside. And I have to go pee. And outside is where you go pee. Spent all day yesterday cutting grass and now it's just gonna grow. Like, what the heck, God? <laughs> yeah, you got soaked. So Gabby got, Sophie got soaked too. Where is a lunging rope? Do we have our own here? We need to bring our own lunging rope here. But do you guys see how, like, mud season is over? Everything's mostly dried up now and he's not nearly as bad. And the rain really helped. I sent Gabby to go find the lunging whip <laughs> for Sophie. First itches themselves. She doesn't have it. Can you watch my horse, she says, while I go get my lunging whip. <laughs> I know, and he wrecks the place. He's like, let me play with this. <laughs> yeah. This is the 17th time I put that away. That moment that your kid eats half a muffin before they get on the horse, and then you're stuck holding the muffin for the whole lesson. You want your muffin? He wants it. She wants it. You can't have that. Anyway, we were just talking about how this horse has changed himself around. Like he it is such a good horse. And I said to Brandon, like, do you think he likes Gabby? And he said that he thinks that he is very selective in his riders. For sure. But do you guys remember? I need to get like an old video and a new video. Yeah, he has a little cut. All over his butt. He's in with a. He's a, either an idiot in the film, or he has. Yeah, he's either bullied or the bully. So, how did you feel about your ride, Sophie? It was good. How? Did, what do you think about him? Like how fast he goes? I like his speed. All right, we are headed home. Door's not closed. We are headed home, and uh, Sophie loved her lesson. Gabby loved her lesson. I gotta tell you guys that I keep waiting for the ball to drop because so many people have sent me messages saying, like, be careful with him because he's a baby and he's a thoroughbred. And yet, every time, all horses. every time she rides him, he's just like this amazing, awesome horse that moves forward but is not fat. But he's teaching her so much and she's really enjoying him and she wants to start sharing her journey with him with you guys. So, um, so we're gonna start doing that because 
this is Sophie's journey and if she wants to share it and put it online then I think she should be allowed and there are always gonna be people who are judging and saying that you're not good and it's hard but you have to look past that you have to look past other people's issues and enjoy what you enjoy and so that's what she's gonna do don't you know that you're beautiful